With its striking booth design and large number of titles on display, Virgin was hard to miss at CES. The company was featuring four new products in Las Vegas, led by Trilobites, The Eleventh Hour, the sequel to The Seventh Guest. In The Eleventh Hour, you're Carl Denning, an investigative TV reporter who is searching for your producer and lover, who disappeared during a murder investigation. Like The Seventh Guest, The Eleventh Hour is centered around the now-decaying Stolf Mansion, some 70 years after the original tragedies occurred. Based on an original screenplay by Matthew Costello, The Eleventh Hour features live-action video, a cast of 18 characters, a series of treasure hunts, multiple endings, and a musical score from The Fat Man. The game will be released on two CDs. The Daedalus Encounter, a science fiction adventure developed by Macadeus, recently moved from MediaVision to Virgin and is now scheduled for release in the second quarter of 1995. The game's main attraction is Tia Carrere of the Wayne's World movies and True Lies. The CD-ROM-based game includes full motion video along with arcade, fighting, and maze gameplay. The approach the player takes to the game, peaceful or aggressive, has an effect on the multiple plot twists and endings in the Daedalus encounter. Westwood Studios' Command & Conquer will also be distributed by Virgin. Based on the Dune 2 engine, Command & Conquer requires the player to embark on a number of different missions in a race to secure control of a rare mineral. The game includes full motion video, 3D rendered graphics, newscast footage, commercials, and a number of other features. There will be a pair of multiple player options, modem capability, and arena play. Finally, in conjunction with Looking Glass Technologies, Virgin is releasing Flight Unlimited. This flight simulator features immersive reality, a combination of a newly designed graphics process and real-world physics modeling. Flight Unlimited features a number of high-performance aerobatics aircraft, including the Sukhoi Su-31 or the Pitts S-2A. Looking Glass designers created the game's graphics by using a 3D terrain texture mapping process based on stereo-matched aerial photographs.